Hi guys, welcome to this quick video about how you can resize a picture or even a couple of images fast and easy and with free tools. I'm going to show you two options. One is without installing a software and one is with installing a software. And I'm going to show you how you can use that. It's not super easy, but it's definitely not difficult. You just have to know one or two things. So here I have a couple of images. Dimension here is 1248 by 712. I need actually 1280 by 720 for a YouTube video thumbnail. So how to change that? I'm always struggling a little bit with these dimensions. I'm using this free Photoscape X uh, photo editing tool and usually I'm struggling to cut it out uh, with exactly the correct dimension. So it doesn't matter where it comes from, I just need the right dimensions. So if you're following in my channel, you know that I have already installed a couple of tools to manipulate images or videos right out from the file explorer. That's really easy. My two preferred tools are actually the XN shell. That's the one here. So you can convert any type of images to any other type you can even choose the size here you can convert it to different sizes and even a bulk of images so that would uh, be a very easy solution unfortunately even though I can adjust it to the correct size unfortunately they don't allow me to ignore the aspect ratio. So either it sticks to the 1280 or the 720 and it adapts the other number. So it's not possible to use the thing here. And also there's the file converter. And here I can even configure some presets, but it's usually just for video. So I also can't use this one here. So what's the solution? The first solution is some built-in option. And then we go to open this and we choose the photos. That's the built-in photos from Microsoft. If you have Windows 10, 11, uh, maybe even older versions, then it comes with the photos from Microsoft. And we can go to the right top these three dots here and then we go to resize and we can even define some custom uh, dimensions by default it will also stick to the uh, existing aspect ratio but we can uncheck this and choose our own 1280 720 and click on save resized copy and then we can select where we want to save it and which name we want to give it we can click on save and it would replace it so let's give it a different name here we save it close it again and we can see we have the 1280 by 720 exactly what we need i mean this is built in and it's free but we have to invoke a program and it only works for one image so what to do if you don't want to invoke a program and you can also use it for multiple images so we have to go to the microsoft store that's the microsoft store and there's a utility it's called microsoft power toys we can install this here. I have already installed that. And after installing, you have to just uh, close the existing file explorer, open it again. And then we have an additional menu and we right click on the existing image here. There's this resize picture. We click on that and we have already a couple of predefined uh, sizes, but we have also other options we can also choose whatever you want so we can add this 1280 by 720 and here what's really important we have the choice of fill fit or stretch unfortunately they are using their own words fit means actually maintaining the aspect ratio stretch means it's doing that without maintaining the aspect ratio so it would stretch it out to exactly these numbers this is what i actually want this is nice and it works but there's even an easier solution to that if you are using uh, same dimensions over and over again you can open these settings here and then we can add a size and here we have a new preset it's called new size one we click here we can give it a name and then also same thing here of course we don't want to fit because it means uh, maintaining the aspect ratio i want exactly this thing here 1287 20 
uh, the really strange thing here is there is no save button here we just click here and then we click back here and it's already uh, here then and also here there's no save this is this seems to be the new style so we don't have any option to save or cancel we just close this here again and if you want to be sure that it really works you have to close and reopen again the file explorer i'm not 100 percent sure if this really works so let's try it just right click and go to the resize and so it's already here there are also a couple of different options here maybe check these if you're not sure and then we click on resize and let's see what happens now there's a new thing and it even has the name youtube thumbnail you can see it has exactly the correct dimensions and so we can even use it for a couple of things you can see i can mark a couple of them i can right click uh, resize and choose this thing here and resize and it would resize the whole bulk so these are the two options which i highly recommend they are free work really good as far as i can see so i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments or better solutions whatever you have please write everything down into the feedback area i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time